Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this part of the series, we're gonna continue working on the game. So we'll add a camera follow system. The camera will follow the ball. Also we'll be able to rotate it so that we can avoid obstacles. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And let's jump right into it. So in the last video, we've added few objects to the game, like the vertex and the ball. Also, we've created this player controller script, which moves the ball forward when we start playing. But the problem is that the main camera is not following the player. If we hit play, our ball moves forward, but the camera is not following it. We can create another C sharp script and update its position to the player position plus an offset or we can use a package that is called Cinemachine which allows you to control the camera and create any kind of camera movement whether it's a third person game a first person shooter and so on without writing any line of code to install this Cinemachine package you could go to window then under package manager make sure that unity registry is selected then you have to search for the name Cinemachine. For me, it's already installed. Make sure to hit the install button. Once you install it, we can close this tab. Then you will have the option to add a virtual cam using right click. We have 3D objects like the sphere that we have added recently. If you install the Cinemachine package, you will have this option Cinemachine. We're going to select a virtual camera, which is an object that controls the main camera. That's why we have a different position. We can't see the ball. If we change the Z position of this virtual cam to minus 10, the camera will update its position to the same value. When you select this object under the inspector, we have the Cinemachine virtual camera component. Here we have different settings that we can change. Like the follow parameter, we can select an object from the scene and the camera will follow it by selecting this dot. Here we have all of the objects under the scene like the ball. You could also drag it, select the object and drag in the ball under this follow parameter. Now if you hit play, as you can see the camera is following the ball and we need to move it a little bit to the top. Here we have some settings, under body, we can select an offset, like the Y offset, if you change it to 2.5, the camera will be in the center, and by changing the damping, you could make it smoother, and we only want to change the Z damping, to 2 for example, because the camera is moving along the Z axis, and there you go, the camera is following the ball, And before I finish this video, we are going to use the new input system so that we can rotate the ball when we drag on the screen. For now, we can't rotate the ball to avoid obstacles. To do that, we have to install the new input system package. The same thing, you could go to Window, then Package Manager. And let's search for the new input system. Just write Input System. Comparing to the old input system, this one is much much better you have more options to customize it make sure to install it using the install button for me it's already installed then we can take the input which is the x variation when you drag on the screen and rotate the ball accordingly but when you rotate the ball around the z-axis as you can see it's not rotating around the vortex but it rotates around itself we can change the pivot point to the middle of this vortex then if you change the Z rotation it's gonna rotate around this axis like we want and to do that we can create an empty game object in the middle using right click create empty and let's call it ball pivot then we have to reset its transform to the middle using reset 
and if you drag the ball under this ball pivot object you will be able to rotate it by rotating this pivot around the z-axis as you can see and we have to fix this problem as you can see the camera is following the ball when it's moving along the x-axis we can simply change the follow parameter to the ball pivot so the ball pivot is in the middle and it's not moving along the x-axis select the virtual cam and drag in the ball pivot instead of the ball and we have to reset the offset as well now the problem is fixed the ball is rotating and the camera is not following it now we're gonna take the x variation and change the z rotation to do that we can open up the player controller script first we add the namespace unity engine dot input system using unity engine dot input system in fact we have different options to use the new input system and i think the easiest way for our game is by accessing the device itself like the mouse or the keyboard in our case we're going to access the touch screen using touch screen dot current then we select the touch because we can have more than one touch on the screen we can use the object dot primary touch then we can get different attributes like the position of the finger using dot position or we can access the delta variation using dot delta and that contains two values which are the x variation and the y variation we only need the x to rotate the ball before that we have to add dot read value so this function will return a vector 2 we can store it inside another variable first we write the type which is vector 2 then we can give it a name like dt or delta you could call it whatever you want I know it's a little bit weird but I've read the documentation about the new input system and that's how it works now we can rotate the ball using transform dot rotate we give it three parameters I'm gonna give it zero for the x and the y but for the z we will use delta dot x and we can multiply it by a speed like we have done here I'm gonna create another variable on top using float and let's call it rotation speed or x sensitivity and I think 0.8 is fine then we multiply it by this variable rotation speed and that's pretty much it we can optimize this code a little bit because we don't have the touch screen all the time maybe it's not available we can check if it's not null in that case we can access the primary touch and the x value and so on I'm gonna cut these two lines of code and let's add the condition if touch screen dot current is not equal to null that means we have a touch screen in that case we can access the touch and change the rotation and let's hit ctrl s to save the file then go back into unity and let's play the game again you see the ball is moving but the camera is not following it and that's because we have changed the follow parameter to the ball pivot which is in the same position all the time because we are removing the ball only to fix that problem instead of attaching the player controller script to the ball we can attach it to the ball pivot let's remove this component using remove component then select the ball pivot and drag in the player controller script and that will move it along the z-axis and the ball is a child of this ball pivot it's gonna move with it and this is not the only solution you can have another idea that fixed the same problem also you have to enable the touch input simulation because we don't have a touch screen this is the mouse cursor to enable the touch simulation you could go to window then under analysis input debugger we have to select options then simulate touch input from mouse or pen and you will be able to test this project using the mouse as a touch screen then we can close this window and let's hit play and there you go the ball is moving also we can rotate it 
and the camera is following the ball. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make this level endless. That's why make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you get notified when I release a new video and I will see you in the next one.